Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I will show you how to use the randomized transform feature, which is a great feature in order to distribute different objects uh, in any location you want randomly. If you want to randomly uh, move, transform some objects, uh, we need to. So let's add some objects to the scene. I'm going to be using the UV sphere as shown in our example. So just Shift D and uh, grab it like this on the y-axis and select these two UV spheres shift D grab it on the x-axis also select these four, four UV spheres like this shift D grab it on the y-axis Select all the spheres like this, UV spheres, then shift D and move it on X axis. We have here uniform distribution, how to make it random. We need to press F3 in order to show this pop up uh, menu for search. So just uh, retype randomize. The most transform object it's over click on it so first we need to select all the spheres like this just delete the camera delete the also the light hit x it to select everything then hit f3 and transform randomize and we have here at the bottom this menu And play with some values as shown in our example over there. And you have this random distribution of the these UV spheres like this. Three again. It's gonna be making seed to change random seed as shown in our example over there. If you want to transform delta, you can check the box over there. Then also the rotation. You can play around with some uh, angles and play around with the scale. In this case, you don't need to use the geometry nodes. You can use this method if you don't know how to use geometry nodes for this uh, random distribution of uh, different objects. And you have get this uh, random distribution of the objects. So you can quickly get them in some random order and go through uh, different seed values to see different random configurations of those objects as shown here. Until you get inspiration for some spaceship or robot design, you can use that as basis for concept art, for example. And that's it for this tutorial. And you can make, uh, for example, play around with some values over here and factors. Change them in order to create your own customized distribution. And that's it. Thanks for watching.